Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and today I want to talk to you about a really cool tool that I've been using for a few years. So if you're into repairing things and not just replacing things, uh, I'm going to introduce you to the Capacitor Wizard. I'm not going to talk too much about it, it's not a very complicated device, it's actually very simple. Uh, what it is, it, it tests capacitors. Now I, so, I know you've seen a lot of videos on YouTube uh, where they're uh, connecting the leads of a capacitor to the leads of a multimeter or a digital multimeter and they're, uh, and they're giving you a reading like they'll, they'll, uh, they'll test an 820 microfarad capacitor and it tests, uh, they'll put it on capacitance and it tests and shows 820 uh, microfarads. Uh, and then hey, the, the capacitor must be good. That's actually not a good test. Uh, you're supposed to be looking at things called ESR. And that's, that's really important. It stands for Equivalent Series Resistance. Now, I'm not going to go into details about that. You can look that up on the internet. It is quite complicated and you really don't need to know what it is to use this device. It's a very simple device. There are some uh, more detailed devices that actually give you an ESR reading. Uh, I think it's called Blue ESR or something like that. I'll put a link to that one down in the description. Uh, and I'll also put a link to this one down in the description. So this is the Capacitor Wizard. It's made by Midwest Devices. And um, it's very, very simple. So as you can see there, it's got, uh, what is that? Good, compare, and bad. Uh, and so basically you just connect these probes to the leads on the um, capacitor. And it'll tell you. It'll say good if the capacitor is good. It'll say compare. Now when it says compare, that means compare it to a, a good capacitor. So if you've got a whole bunch of 820 microfarad capacitors and they all test the same, uh, or you compare it with a new one, then that capacitor is probably good. But if it comes up and it shows in the red where it says bad, uh, you're going to want to replace that capacitor. Uh, sometimes I go ahead and uh, if I can't find one to compare, I might even change out the one that says compare. Uh, anyway, because uh, sometimes it's only one, one or two capacitors that uh, make the device, whatever it is, uh, that make the device fail. So anyway, uh, if you haven't checked out this device, uh, check it out. It's awesome. It's easy to use. It's going to save you hundreds of dollars. It saved me probably thousands of dollars at this point because I've had it for years. And you can fix pretty much anything with capacitors. If, if the capacitors are the cause, you'll find the bad ones. Oh, and the coolest thing I forgot to mention, you can actually... Uh, test uh, the capacitors in circuit. You don't have to remove them, right? So you can take them out and you can test them with this, but screw that. You just want to test them right on the board. So just turn the board upside down and you can connect it on the uh, solder joints and it'll give you a reading. Uh, now be sure before you do that to sh uh, short the capacitor with an insulated screwdriver so you don't get a shock. Sometimes capacitors hold a charge and you don't want to be uh, shorting it uh, with your hands by accident or even shorting it with these. If you short a, a charged capacitor with this it will blow a diode inside here and they have a repair kit that you can order. Uh, I've uh, ordered the diode and I've replaced it myself. Uh, but yeah, you don't want to blow the device or get yourself uh, a shock or, or hurt in any way. So make sure you use an insulated screwdriver and short the caps even on the board uh, before you start um, doing any testing with them. Anyway, that's my video. The Capacitor Wizard, it's an awesome tool. Check it out if you haven't yet. If you're a fixer guy and you like to fix motherboards and things that go broken and you're not sure how to test them and you've been using a multimeter this whole time, this is the tool for you. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.